child and my mom has this amazing creepy doll collection and she loves creepy dolls and she will not put my doll in her collection because it's not creepy enough. It's old but it's just not creepy enough for her so we're going to make this super creepy so she puts it in her doll collection. So let's go start. We'll go down here there's a little more light. all to start. So I'm going to take the coats off so we can spray paint the whole doll. So I'm just going to take her clothes off. Take it all off. I don't know what we'll use. Color Master, white, metal, wood, plastic, and more. And I saw paint and primer. This is what we're, this is what we're using. This might be what we're, okay. second coat and we're going to let that dry. I've 
taken the bag off of her head. It's got a little bit of flake there, but that's okay. That's just from on the bag. So she's all ready now. You can see I've painted her face is very white. There are some blotches there, like where the beige kind of shows through, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna be painting over top of it. And I got her hands done and her feet are done and she is ready to start. Okay, I'm super excited. So I've got some supplies on the right there. This is my mixing tray. I have white paint, acrylic, red paint, acrylic, black paint, acrylic. And that's a bristle brush. It's a really hard bristle brush, so I'm excited to use this one. Let me just take it out of the package here. See the bristles? So good. Okay, so we got that, and then I've got these other packages. I just got these at Unusual Finds Dollar Discount Store, so that one has flat, and this one has, again, the bristle. The other one's smoother, but this one, I feel like I'm gonna use this one more, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, these were like, I think like $3, and I got five of them there. That's exciting. My nephew is there trying to bottle flip my paint with his snacks beside him. All right, I'm gonna get started. All right, Carson, you wanna put some paint in here? Okay, we'll start with some black there. Also, oh, I got all my supplies in unusual finds, so this is the red paint. Let's put it right there. Perfect. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna use, so I got really big bottles, and I, I knew I was gonna only use a couple colors, so like I can mix these colors together. There we go. Okay, let's get started here. I wanted to do her eyes, like we're doing a zombie look, so I'm gonna do some black around her eyes to start. the bristle brush because I want to blend that in. I just don't want it to look like a big black eye. I want to blend it in. And I'll repeat that over here. Get my bristle brush and just really blend that in. And it doesn't matter if I make a mistake because she's a zombie doll. I can just fix her later. Mm -hmm. I really want the eyes to be white, white. There we go. So she's, that's got it started. I want her nose to have some white too because she's a zombie so you don't want lots of black everywhere. In a few places, kind of blend that in a little bit. Hmm. I'm gonna put some black around her mouth to just to make it look like shadowing there. There we go. And blend that in. about doing a zombie doll is you can just keep blending and adding color until you're satisfied with the way your doll's face looks. And I just either she didn't have any um, eyelashes on her so I'm gonna just add my own eyelashes and I didn't have a thin enough brush so I actually tipped my paintbrush over here and I'm just using the tip of the paintbrush. I went a little thick on that first
around her neck, kind of give her a kind of blend her in. Just to show her neckline there. Got a little bit of black, a lot of black there, so let's keep blending that. darker like a burgundy color so I'm just gonna mix in some red a little bit of red and some black that looks nicer I need some more red okay Oh, that's way better. Oh my goodness, that is such a nice red. It's like a deep, a burgundy, dark, dead looking red. That's nice. That's gonna look so good. So I'm just trying to kind of do like a heart shape on the top and then just like a little bit at the bottom there. Red looks great when it's so bright. 
on her white hands. It looks so good. You can do this wherever. You can make black anywhere. I like to have some dark black and then I like to black for this. So right now, just a soft black. Make it a little darker in the creases. Definitely look older. Like an old doll. It's giving it that old effect. Black on her. I don't think I'm gonna put her shoes back on. I kinda just like I like her feet like that. Maybe I'll just add some I mixed it up so I added some dark and red on the bottom and then I'm just gonna put it on the toes too. brush and wipe it all away. You can just wait till it dries and then go back to it. Like a fringe look. This is 
over there's like two rows here so I'm cutting the top row and the bottom row rip and punk chunk off, but I think that's gonna be okay. Cause the doll and I did want it. I'm gonna cut that off. There we go. I'm gonna cut the frame of the bone again. really just give it the torn look when I'm done I can put paint around it and highlight the edges. I love that this dress was so frilly. Like it's gonna look so good. This I'm gonna cut the I'm gonna give her a little cold shoulder. later. A cold shoulder for her. Alright. So, oh, this is neat. That's fray. Cut the edge off and now just really just keep cutting inwards. Doesn't matter if you're cutting other pieces because you're going to want it to be, I want it to be really scraggly. See all the pieces that are coming? That's okay. Just keep cutting. We'll make this really, really frayed. That is great. Look how good this looks. This is gonna look so good. Let's do it to the side. Just cut the end off so it's not even. And then just start cutting like crazy. Just snip, snip, snip everywhere over top of it. Just keep going. That's great. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so excited about this one. This is really nice. Look at everything that's coming off. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Dressing gray, like gray, and then maybe like accent with black and 
gonna write for blood. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna mix all. I'm mixing some black and some white just to make any gray. It doesn't matter. Look at it, that looks great. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this looks great. And this is super easy and the bristles are making it so easy. Oh, this is great. Oh, I love it. It already looks so good. It looks like a hundred times better now. I'm gonna do it in all the, in all the lines. So I'm not going anywhere like, I'm just going wherever. Just like dark here, light there, mixing it all up. It doesn't matter. And all the, rows of ruffles and I've cut them all up so they're uh, mm. this looks good oh this looks amazing already I love that it wasn't like a completely white background so this is just working out so perfect Maybe some more paint I wasn't sure how much I would use so I just dumped some black some white let's mix that in there gray. It doesn't even have to be the same gray, but I'm, it just looks pretty much the same. Yeah. All right. We're going to have the back of the dress. Shake off that stuff. There we go. This looks great, guys. This is working really well. I wasn't sure how well this would work, but this bristle brush is great. See, I make it a little bit darker. It doesn't even matter. We're going to put more colors on later. Oh, this looks great. So do some, I'm gonna black the edges of each of these frills. This looks so good. This is working so well. Oh, I love this. Black the edges. And then it's giving it, like you can see the frill now. It gives it some depth, I'm loving it. Oh, this looks good.
should be Claudia. She reminds me of a Claudia. I like Claudia. Let's go with Claudia for this one. Claudia the zombie. Oops, I missed some grave Abby's mom and Pamela's here. Also like right on the edge of there. That looks like right up there. And watch, oh this is great. Oh, this looks so good. So I'm just putting it on all the lines and randomly up the back. Like I don't know, but right, see where the sewing stitching is? That looks really good. Right up there too, where the pleats are. Right here. The pleats look so good right there with the pleats right here. already. This is black still. I'm just going in the creases and the stitching. And I'm back to my gray. And that's like a mesh. I don't know if you can see it, but this is like a, the front part is like a mesh where the flower is. So I'm just trying not to get like too, not to get too thick or too deep so that on the doll on the inside so we want to really see the opening lots of black around there so now I'm just gonna like go around and make sure I got everywhere before I continue because yeah there we go I'm gonna get our sleeves done Okay, so I'm gonna do, okay, because I really want these to stick out, so I'm gonna do black, and I'm gonna do white. See, that looks great. I'm gonna do, it's a black again. And then I'm gonna do white, so they're really sticking out. Especially since I made her hand so bloody, so good. here and there. I'm not adding a lot of white. I'm just adding it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm just adding very little white. Like it's so little, but it looks... Because the dress wasn't white. The dress originally, it was like off-white, like a beigey color. So this is making it pop with the black and the gray.
not gonna do it. I thought maybe I'd do some white. No, I'm just gonna do it black. Maybe I'll add some gray over top after, but right now I'm just gonna paint it all the edging. So there's two layers of edging. So much better than I was thinking. Look how good just putting the black over this pink is just oh, making the whole dress pop. It's looking so good. <laughs> I don't even have to like, I don't know, it's like not coloring but not having to color in the lines so I can just do whatever I want, a little bit here, a little bit there, and it all looks good and it all works out. It's all, look how great that looks, this looks great. did bother me, I could add more. I'm gonna add black over there, I don't like that. I could add, yeah, black gray over it. So I'm gonna flip it over, and even if it smudges, it's all good. Oh wait, I missed a spot. There we go. So this is looking amazing, look how good it looks. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay, so now,
longer than I thought it would. I didn't realize the doll would be so fast and dress and take so long. That's kind of funny. So many little weird details on this, the bows, the rose at the top, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna, like the ribbon and like the fur at the top, like everything's just making this dress look better and better. The other side of this bow. Yeah, it's going right through. going right through so this is really good flower rose in the center. I do it so you can really see it, like really red. Really, really red. I need some red. Yeah, this looks so good. Like I'm telling you, all these little additives, they're making this thing look amazing. Like when that part flips inside out, when it's flipping, because it's the part that's I ripped a lot. I want to be able to see the gray on both sides. That looks good. I'm just gonna put some white on the edges of the bows, kind of like I did with the R's, just like to make them pop a little bit more. hands right now. <laughs> Blended in some black and some red there. 
And then I'm just sort of, yeah, just putting it anywhere. So my blood is really random. Some of it's really red and some of it's really dark. It just really depends how I'm grabbing it. Blood on the hands, sleeves, because there is gonna be blood on the hands for sure. So see some of that mixture is dark and some is light is looking great. But it looks when I everywhere I add the red, it just pops right out. See how the red on the sleeve, and then just oh, it looks so great. So stick around so we can finish her hair. Her hair isn't done. We don't want red hair. We're going to put lots of color in her hair too. Oh, that looks so good. Look at the red in her hand. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, let's do her other arm and we'll look at her. Oh, this looks so good with the red. It just pops right out under that fringed sleeve that we made. Well, she's looking amazing, but she's not quite done yet because I have to do her hair still. Let's see. Her hair is really stuck together. I think, I think I'm going to need a brush. I can't really get it apart. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a brush. Way better with the brush. I need to brush her hair out. 